My name is Stephanie Zito, and I, uh, I make art that has a lot to do with um, using sustainable practices and utilizing things that would otherwise be discarded. This piece that I have is Pillow Portal, and it is essentially a pillow that is suspended by a fishing line from the ceiling. It's made up of essentially just kitchen scraps and thinking of scraps of time as well. There's also dryer lint on the, the piece as well, and dryer lint, it's a, it's a pretty gnarly substance. I don't enjoy working with it, but it's an interesting material to me because it really captures kind of the remnants of our lives. Part of this piece is my desires for rest, how rest can be hard to come by, driving home this idea of how challenging it can be to discover that. Hi, my name is Adrienne Sloan. The piece that I have in the show is called At the End of My Rope. I made it in response to a request to do something with rope. And since I don't work with rope, I found it a little obscure. And at the end of my rope really spoke to me because this was during the past administration when things got totally out of hand. The noose is a particularly American reference. I felt a little uneasy about showing it, but it has had a great reception in different venues. My hope is that it sparked conversation about difficult issues. I'm Bernie Leahy from Ireland. So my studio practice involves figurative drawing, painting and stitch. And stitch always becomes involved in it. The piece I have is called Piecing. I started that piece off by creating an acrylic portrait of myself and then I cut it up and chopped it up and, and broke it down into the most important points, uh, the most important elements to create what is essentially a drawing. On top of that, there is a, a single knot, knotted stitch which is the complementary colour of the colour underneath. The point of the image is to pare back as much information as possible while still retaining the form where the face is recognisable. My name is George Ann Bowers. I live in Berkeley, California. And I have been weaving for about, I don't know, somewhere between 30 and 40 years. And my current interest is lichens which are an interesting natural phenomenon. They're a combination of fungus and bacteria together. So I've done a series of dress forms, not wearable, but they are wall-mounted, but somewhat textural and a little bit dimensional, based on lichen forms. They're found all over the world. They come in different colors and shapes and textures. And the piece here in the show is actually a little jacket, a bolero jacket. It's double weave pickup, and I wove it flat and then to a pattern and then folded it together and made a jacket out of it. Hello, I am Kiko Kotani. I was born in Waipahu, Hawaii, and I got my M MFA, my BFA from the University of Hawaii. I then went to study with Guatemalan Indians, and I studied the Weepil, the traditional methods of weaving. Red Falls is a very large installation, 10 feet high by, um, I would say, 10 by 10 feet and 10, constructed with red garbage bags. Red is to signal women's issues. Garbage bags are not valued, and so is women's work in the home. I crochet this material because crocheting is time-consuming and repetitive, where women's work in the home is also very repetitive. I really want to thank everyone of Fiber Arts International and this coming together of all of these international artists. I have been very stimulated. I've been really, really enjoying the entire experience.